Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to your... Wow. <laughs> That's great. Welcome to your quantum reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. Of course, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Sag E. And the message could be for you directly. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Key, uh, if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for the good karma donations. I appreciate that so, so, so much. So, Sag. Interesting. Okay. This has been so similar. Um, I want to say... Okay, you're going through some type of a profound change right now. Obviously, it's a destruction and renewal, and it, it is a metamorphosis. I mean, mainly in the mind, right? You're co probably coming across some type of information that's really going to help you see things clearly. And I do want to say it's about another person. Could be a earth sign that you're dealing with, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, just throwing that out there. But since we've got the death... And the king of pentacles, this could, this is male or female, don't get caught up by the gender, but it could be someone who maybe is greedy because the king of pentacles, right? The light side of them is, right, someone courageous, responsible, organized, intelligent, and wise. The shadow side, if someone hasn't alchemized or they've got something stuck in their vibration, it's going to be greed, bitterness, unfair, corruption, and overindulgence okay so and and the thing that i always sometimes get with always sometimes <laughs> get with the king of pentacles is sometimes they can be a little too focused on material right on to maybe like have spending habits or things like that okay but that's what's changing. I think you're moving away pretty much. And I'm saying that because you've got the full card, which is interesting. Capricorn just barely got this card and this flew right out for you guys. So we've got trust, optimism, this is free spirit and a new beginning. So I think what's happening is there could be someone that you've been entangled with and you're going through this profound change with them. They are maybe helping you to up level and grow. And because of that, you are becoming more stable, right? You're entangling with their energy. And so now you're taking on a lot of that. You're becoming really wise, right? It's because that's the word popping out here. You're, you're becoming really intelligent and through this experience with this person. So... Let me get a bit more information on this. Let's see what's going on. And I'm so sorry. I keep knocking the camera today and it's probably going to annoy everyone. This is hilarious. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles. Actually, do you know what I'm thinking? Just because of that... Dude, I'm going to say that you guys are meeting someone new. Um, and it's someone, it could be you've been through something significant in your life, maybe put an end to things, and you guys might be meeting someone new. And the King of Pentacles, that's why I think you guys were dealing with someone previously in the past that maybe was more of a shadow aspect of this person. Because if you guys really look at it, oh, this is popping out to me. If you guys ever see in relationships that you come to, this could be in, this can be anything, a friend, a lover, business, however it applies. But you can start to see that there's a pattern in the people that you attract in your life and they all they'll be kind of similar, but what they'll do is they'll reflect you at where you're at vibrationally. So maybe there was even a time that you're coming out of Sag, why you're going through this profound change and metamorphosis is because you're coming into this period of like you're up leveling, right? You're raising your vibration. And because of that, you could have dealt with people that were on the sh shadow side of that King of Pentacles. And now you are becoming more wise and stable. And those are the connections that you're determined to get you know people that are at the same level as you 
But it's like you kind of had to be there vibrationally first. You know what I mean? Let's see what we can get here. All right. Sad G. Man, that 10 of pentacles has come out in every single read. I'm going to wait a bit because this was a whole bunch that popped out. So let me see if we can get a little bit more specific. Yeah, those two are it. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, Sag, so, all right. This is interesting. I actually feel like there's some, there is someone in your life that you're deciding they don't, they hold back on their emotions. Okay. I'm going to take this in a different direction. So I'm so sorry guys, but Knight of cups upside down. That's someone that holds back from expressing their emotions or expressing something or holds back from an offer, which makes sense to me with the King of pentacles. If you're dealing with the shadow side of them, they can be you know, earth signs don't always just volunteer up their emotions as ready sometimes. And so that's why I think that you're kind of at the point of you've, you're wanting the emotional connection pretty much, Sag. Either this is you or the person you're dealing with, but there is this nostalgia, right? There's probably this history between the two of you and it might be making it a little bit difficult to step away from them completely. But here's this new beginning for you. I mean, you're really wanting to move forward into the new because I think that you're seeing, yeah, this person isn't providing you any type of like emotional connection, you know, and that's probably bringing you a lot of dissatisfaction. You know what I mean? I'm so sorry. This cat might jump up here. Okay. Yeah, because look, Sag, like you're, this is probably really giving you some type of broken heart for some of you that could have been a third party betrayal and it's almost like oh do you know what i'm getting sad it's almost like you feel that this person is denying the depth of the connection between the two of you and you know what it is you know you know how deep of, deep of a soulmate bond it is between the two of you but they're not acknowledging it like they're holding back, see, I told you. And they're holding back on their emotions. And because of that, it's really like causing you to be brokenhearted. But with the Three of Swords, it's upside down. So maybe you're finally like, you're kind of in this mode of, look, there's that Two of Cups upside down. You're kind of in this mode of, it's, it's almost like it's, it's hurting, but you're caring less. Does that make sense? Like the pain still is kind of there, but you're starting to almost detach from the pain. Like you still think about them, but you're starting to just really like kind of filter in your mind, you know, your consciousness is raising or you're starting to see the reality of what this person can really provide for you and that it's not gonna bring you emotional fulfillment and that's okay, you know? Where there was a card that just flipped over and I have to find it because I don't know where that went. A card just flipped over. There it is. Okay, and there it is. So what I think is happening, this is about illusions and deception. And that's what I think kind of maybe caused that broken heart is that there were maybe some things that came to light. And, but this is actually what's really good, Sag. Like, I know this probably seems like a depressing read, but the Three of Swords coming in upside down and the Moon card, you're seeing through the illusions. And I even think through that, that's what's causing this metamorphosis so that you can step into this new beginning because slowly you're, that Three of Swords, that broken heart, it's starting to fade away because your mind is helping you to do that, right? And look at that. There's that seven of swords. That's deception. That's lies. So there was someone you were dealing with that was not honest. They had some type of deception that they were keeping hidden, right? And then, oh yeah, look, these cards are all straight up. 
there is lying that's holding back communication. And even for some of you, it's like they just kept holding back how they really felt. And there, it's almost like you can't do anything. And so it's like Queen of Swords, boom. You have to put up the boundaries, you know, like be kind of just slice through this. That it's not what you want. It's not in your best interest. And so now you're deciding to move forward and maybe deciding, right, that death card, maybe cut this person out of your life. And because of that, this is what's cool, okay? You've got the fool card. And if you guys have seen, I've been popping out these doors opening cards. So that's what I'm going to see with this fool card, this new beginning. We're going to see what doors are opening for you guys, okay? Especially after this connection, because I'm telling you, it's like that whole, when one door closes, another one opens and just allow that, you know, really allow that to be done and finished. Oh, I'm so tempted to take that cure for longing. Let me just grab one more. Okay. One more card for my beautiful Sagittarius. Maybe that's the only one. I think that is the only one. Yeah, there's not. Well, interesting. Okay, let's see what this one is. So here's this door opening for you. I love these cards. So we have distant dream. The distance calls your heart to roam free as you dare dream it. So must it be. That's the... Do you know what I'm getting from that set, Sag? It's almost like there was something that you gave up on before. And letting go of this connection is going to open the door to whatever this thing is. Like maybe something like a dream that you had and it's coming forward again. Something that maybe you had given up on in the past. Whether that's like a certain relationship or something here about a dream and okay i love this too so we've got this one that popped out next the art of life there's no sacred light in the art of life be bold in your skin let your love dance in sight so that's what you need to do sag is you need to go like kind of look at the positive in life again you know i feel like that's going to bring in some new beginnings to you like let the magic back in like let let the synchronicities come in because actually you're thinking about the past of them is a very big distraction because straight up this person is not giving you what you want and need straight up in the connection. So Sag, I'm going to end that there and I'm going to dive into this in the extended. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Just click on the Vimeo link down below. But Sag, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best and I will see you in your next reading. Take care.